Our trip to try out the Volvo V90 cross country started with a visit to a massive Swedish failure. Stockholm's Vasa Museum houses a 17th century warship that sank not far from its harbour. The reason it sank was that it was too tall and top heavy, and it tipped enough that water came in through the gun decks. It was an odd place to start a trip focused on a Volvo that is taller and more top heavy than your average wagon. But after having driven the new V90 cross country, we have a feeling it won't suffer the same fate as that old ship, old ship. Before continue, please subscribe, share and comment. Thank you. While it has the crossover look, the cross country is a wagon built on a strong foundation. Inside and out, the car is generally the same as the S90 sedan and upcoming V90 wagon, and that means it shares the same simple, elegant interior and broad-shouldered stance. It has been updated with a few cross-country exclusives, most obvious being its increased ride height, about 2.4 inches higher for a total of 8.3 inches of ground clearance. And, like other wagon comb crossovers, it has big plastic fender flares, plus more aggressive front and rear bumpers. If you're not into the rugged look, those contrasting plastic bits can be changed to body color with the addition of an available luxury package. Package. The interior, which has solid visibility thanks to the low belt line and generous amounts of glass, also features some model exclusive touches such as fancy pearl stitching on the seats, red gauges, and an available dark wood finish on the dashboard. The latter feels very premium, though it's so dark you may have to lean in pretty close to tell that it really is wood. In fact, my co-pilot initially mistook it for plastic. In fairness to him and the trim, the sun was still coming up. Coming up.